If you get an interview to a PA school, bravo, good for you, because that is the first step. Like, that is the biggest, the biggest thing that you could possibly ever do. What's up, you guys? It's your girl, Adana, and I am back. I just completed my fourth week of PA school. What? Oh, my gosh. It's so crazy, you guys. I cannot believe that I have a complete month completed out of PA school. So you know what that means? I only have 26 more months to go before I am officially a Donna PAC, which means I am a certified PA and I can practice and just live my life. But um, I am thinking about going into the doctoral program, so maybe it's more like 35 more months of PA school. Nonetheless, I'm super, super excited um, and I'm ready to tell you guys what happened in this week of PA school. So this week we did PBL. Um, I had two classes uh, that I had tests in and I did really really well on those tests so I'm super excited. Of course there's room for improvement and that's all this just part of this process learning what works best for you how to study best for you in PA school because it's definitely not the same as undergrad so what may have worked in undergrad doesn't work in PA school or vice versa. It, you know it might actually work in PA school but you definitely cannot cram you can't like cram and dump the information. You have to keep this information because you're gonna need to know it when you're, you're seeing patients. So I had two tests, I did well. So I'm really happy about that. It kind of put me at ease, made me just realize, all right, you got this, you're in this for a reason. So I'm super excited. The end of this week, we did PBL, which is our problem-based learning class. And what that means is we're kind of like house. Like we're, if you remember the television show House, where the patient comes in with a chief complaint and they tell you, hey, this is what's happening with me. Um, I don't know why, I'm feeling really crummy and feeling really bad, fix me. That's kind of what we what happens. Um, it's not really an actual patient, but the professors have like a list, a little script of all the different things that's going on with this patient and they present it to us and we're in small groups. So um, it really fosters like learning and critical thinking, which is so, so cool. We learned about thyroid. We learned, we learned about like thyroid diseases and masses uh, this past week. And our patient had a thyroid disease. She had hypothyroidism. But you would think, oh, okay, so I learned about thyroid diseases, so it has to be a thyroid disease. Like you would automatically think, yeah, I got this. I'm going to be able to be like, oh, hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's or mm, that's Graves' disease. She definitely has hyperthyroidism. But it was not that easy. Like all of the other comorbidities that comes with your patient, everything else that may be going on with them, hyperthyroidism. Thy, um, hypertension or hypotension they point you in different directions so you really have to put on your thinking cap and figure out all right well what is pertinent and what is not and that is what I really like about my program um, they're really really big on integrating what we've already learned not just in the book sense but in a matter of us actually sitting down and delving into this and actually having time to now put what we just learned into practice, but in a safe, um, controlled environment. So it was really, really cool. Uh, we're learning how to write soap notes as well, which is kind of annoying right now because we have to do um, a very, like, we have to do comprehensive notes, which is super, super long. But um, it's what we're gonna have to do in practice until, uh, if we're doing finally practice, or we have to do, if we're not dealing with somebody that just has one specific focus issue. So it's cool. It's a great learning experience. I'm really, really excited about my program. I'm saying all this to say when you are looking for a PA school, you guys, make sure that you really do your research. If you get an interview to a PA school, bravo, good for you, because that is the first step. Like that is the biggest, the biggest thing that you could possibly ever do. Get your foot in that door so that they can see you, see your personality, but at this moment, you're also interviewing them. You're also looking at that school to see, mm, is this somewhere that I can really see myself? If you're not the person that can be out in the wilderness, don't apply to schools that's out in the wilderness, okay? If you are not someone that um, can be far away from your family, make sure that you keep all of these things in mind because that will make or break your PA experience in school and it will really greatly affect you. So do your research. 
research. Interview the school. Make sure you like the program. Make sure you like the actual coursework because that is something that I like. Not just the coursework and the program, but also their service aspect, um, what they do with the community. So look for all of these things while you're interviewing um, and searching for schools and make sure you pick the right choice so that you are as happy as I am when you get into PA school and you finally get into your program. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked what you saw, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe. Um, leave a comment for me. I'll be sure to get back to it. Um, let, ask me any questions, guys. Whatever questions you may have about PA school or uh, my life in general, like how am I juggling momhood and all of this stuff, I will be happy to answer that. And um, I am still raising funds to stay in PA school, so go ahead and hit up my GoFundMe page and support your girl. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next week after week five. Bye!